Fire in the hole. Hello out there again, once again. This is Mike Harvey, founder and president of Cimarron Firearms Company Incorporated. I'm here to tell you about a new gun we've come out with. The greatest Western of all times was the TV series Lonesome Dove. It has everything. It is about a couple of wore out old Texas Rangers going on their last hoorah, taking a herd of longhorns to Montana and uh, set up a cattle ranch in Montana. Now the story is about half true. And uh, if you've seen the movie, and you probably have, then uh, you know about Gus McRae and Woodrow F. Call. And they're both captains in the Texas Rangers, but uh, I know that there's been a couple of movies, prequels to Lonesome Dove, but I didn't watch either one of them. You know, it just didn't, they didn't have it. So, but Lonesome Dove really had it. But anyway, this gun that we're looking at, it's a blued steel, white cylinder with no finish. Uh, the cylinder has a, a, a roll on it, some arc of a war between the Rangers and some engines, I think. And, and, uh, and uh, the factory's roll die had been used for 30 years and it was about wore out. So I bought a new die and had one made just to do this walker and some other Texas walkers that we are bringing out. But anyway, I just want to tell you a little bit about it, but this charcoal blued copy of our replica of a walker, uh, it has uh, the company, the company and number stamped on the side of it, the military markings that were put on there prior to the Mexican War in 1847. Then later on their way to Montana, they stopped in a bar. Their guns were worn. They didn't have this nice finish on them anymore. They were pretty well worn. And, but anyhow, a pistol whips a barkeep for not serving them a drink. And, and after they leave the bar feeling really good, uh, Gus decides that they need to stop at this engraving shop and have their walkers embellished. So anyhow, more on that a little bit later. Cimarron is recognized as the leader in quality and authenticity in replica firearms. Hey, kid, never sneak up on a man's camp. Sorry, part. I smelled that coffee in. Hey, is that a Cimarron? For those who know the difference, what's it to you? I've got a Cimarron too. It's got superior fit and finish. The highest standards. Cimarron is the choice. For you. Tell your dealer, I want a Cimarron. On the way to Montana, they rounded up their cattle and their cook backed out on them. So, this is in the movie. So, they had to stop in San Antonio and find another cook. They didn't get very far, you know, San Antonio to the borders, you know, 100 miles. But, uh, but anyhow, they went into San Antonio and decided to have a drink. Gus pistol whipped the barkeep because the barkeep wasn't interested in serving them. And uh, he changed his mind real quick. Being pistol whipped with the walker will make you want to serve a drink. And the movie proves that. Well, anyway, after they had their drinks, they were a little tipsy walking back to the herd. And then you know, old Gus, he said, man, you know, we ought to take our walkers in here and get them embellished while we're in San Antonio. And so on their way back, they came across this little engraver shop, a gun engraver shop named uh, Hendrix or something like that. And so they went into Hendrix shop and there was a big old tall engraver named, his last name was Lister. And uh, <coughs> so they had Lister, Big Bill Lister, engrave their back straps. 
keep in mind there's some fiction in this. And uh, uh, anyhow, Big Bill had grabbed both of their back straps with their name and their and their ranger and uh, the frontier battalion and everything that anyone would want to know about them is on the back strap of these guns. And <laughs> these are the prettiest walkers that we have ever made and they're gorgeous. <clears throat> I'm gonna have one for myself. Uh, so anyway, uh, you'll love them. Whether you like the story or not, you'll love the walker. Beautiful gun. Okay, here we go. Fire the hole. Well, I hope you enjoyed the, the test of the little walker here. She's a little greasy now, but you won't have to go in for another grease job for a while.